Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be looking at the UI alert controller. Um, this is going to be basically creating an alert like we did last time, but it's going to be using a different and updated method. Um, with this method, you can kind of do the alert views and the, the action sheets, but they're just considered two different styles. But I'm not going to get into action sheets just yet. We're just going to kind of reproduce what we did um, in the last tutorial, but using the, well, the updated uh, method. So I just commented out this section. We can begin. We're going to basically do the same thing we just did. We'll say, um, bar, I'll call it new alert. And this time it's going to be equal to UI alert controller. And uh, we'll just use this method to actually fill in what we want to do. We'll copy our title from last time and just call it uh, custom alert. Our message will be the same message, basically. And this is where you can pick what kind of style you're going to do, the styles being the action sheets and the alerts. So we'll just say UI alert controller style. We'll say dot, and we want to do alert. So we'll just select alert. And so this is, this is set up our alert kind of like before, except for this time. Um, when, you do, when you use the alert controller, you have to actually add the actions to it. And the actions are basically just like before in previous tutorials where uh, an action is basically a response to some kind of event that uh, the user has done. So like with the buttons, like with this, this is actually an action itself and it's tied uh, to the user interface. So that action is when they actually press that button, we come in here. And so we're actually going to add an action to this alert. So we'll do the same thing. We'll call it uh, action going to be a UI alert action and we'll just fill in some information about it the title is what it's going to show up as and we'll just say that this is going to be an, an OK button so we'll just say OK as like before and the style we're going to put it as a default so we'll say UI alert action style dot uh, default and the controller would, or the handler would be what would happen once the user presses it. Um, in this case, just like the one before, we're not going to actually do anything. So we're just going to put nil in here. And now we have an action that's an OK button when this, when um, a user uh, hits it. Um, so we next thing we need to do is actually connect the action to our alert which is pretty simple, you just say new alert, a period, and then we're going to say add action, and our action is just going to be action that we just made. And so now these two are connected, so when our alert view shows up, it will have a button on it that will say OK, and when, well, when you press it, it won't do anything, but you can actually do that, and we'll go through that later. Um, so the last step we have to do is actually show the view controller, which is kind of different from uh, this where we just had alert.show. We're actually going to present a view controller. And we just say new alert. That is our view controller. We want it to be animated, so we'll say true. And when it's complete, we're going to not do anything, so we'll put this as nil as well. And so we've just used the UI alert controller to build an alert. So let's run this and see what we get. All right, came up. 
just like before we just have our one button that's going to show an alert we hit it and as you can see kind of compare it's done everything that we've coded we hit okay and it'll just go away for now but that would that um, if we added different actions that's where different kind of things would happen but for right now we don't actually need to do anything but just present an alert and dismiss itself when we hit okay uh, thanks for watching